Welcome back to Marathon Music Works in Nashville, Tennessee. And we're going to see a little history tonight. The first ever women's V3 Bantamweight Division fight. Shanna Young making her way towards the cage from Johnson City, Tennessee on the complete east side of the state. Fighting for Tuco Otapa with a record of 2-0. and And she'll be facing Molly the Beast Dupertis from Clarksville, Tennessee in Scientific Street Fighting. Rick, what do you know about Shanna Young? Shanna Young, absolutely great wrestler. She's a former high school wrestler. She's got great jujitsu. She's even got some judo, so look for some throws. Head coach, Brandon Bonahan, he is absolutely tough. He knows how to train his fighters. She's got great cardio. Look for this again on the ground. Both her wins are first round TKOs. Trains with top professionals such as Dustin Long. She, for 21 years of age, has a lot of experience at least in her camp and preparing for fights she has two under her belt looking to make a name for herself in the women's bantamweight division there she is shanna young a perfect two and zero in her young career while shanna gets warmed up inside the cage we're gonna lower the lights and we're gonna change the music a little bit you know what that means. It's time to introduce her opponent. Clarksville, Tennessee, not too far from Nashville. Scientific street fighting. We've had a lot of fighters on V3 fights fighting out of that club. Here comes Molly the Beast Dupertis, training under Ron Daly. She brings a 2 and one record into the cage. I'll tell you what, Ron Daly over there at SSF can definitely train some fighters. He's got a lot of top amateur and top pros in the state, and one of them is Molly Dupertis. She is a great striker. She's going to look to keep this fight standing the whole time, but she's fighting a wrestler today. So she's going to look to throw some kicks, some punches, and just throw it all out there. Although she does say she can handle herself on the ground, so if it goes to the ground, she feels confident. But Young's going to want to get it on the ground. Dupertis, with that striking ability, going to want to keep it, keep this fight on their feet and try to get the knockout. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape brought to you by Beast Clothing. Shanna Young from Johnson City, Tennessee, is 2-0, 21 years of age, 135 pounds, 5'7", and a wrestler. Dupertis from Clarksville, Tennessee, is 25 years of age, also tipped the scales at 135, 5'9", a couple of inches taller than her opponent and she's a ninja what's a ninja rick well she is very sneaky and she is gonna bring it without anyone knowing <laughs> well we'll find out if her opponent shanna young will know let's meet the two in just a moment as we get uh, Dupertis into the cage and there she comes two young very impressive fighters and both easy on the eyes i would say as well here's our own Dapper one, Michael Kelly with the formal introduction. V3 Legion, this bout is brought to you by Beast Fighting. And it's set for three, three minute rounds in the women's bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She wears the black trunks with gray trim. At five feet, seven inches, she weighed in at 135 pounds. A wrestler with a perfect MMA record of two wins and no losses. Representing Tuco Otapa and fighting out of Johnson City, Tennessee, Shadow Young. And across the cage, her adversary fighting out of the red corner. She wears the black trunks with the white trim. At five feet, eight inches, she weighed in at 135 pounds. A ninja with an MMA record of two wins and one loss. Representing SSF and fighting out of Clarksville, Tennessee, Molly the Beast Dupertis. Your referee for this first ever V3 women's bantamweight division battle is Jason Wilkerson. All right, you are both at the rules meeting. Blue, do you have any questions? Red, do you have any questions? All right, hook it up. Let's do this. Kevin Haynes, Tony Martin, Jay Davis, your judges. 
Timekeeper Jim Harmeyer, your physician at Cage Sign is Dr. Jeff Kindred, your cut girl is Crystal Morrow, and your ISKA supervisor is Anthony Manus. Three rounds, Young to Paradis. Round one, here we go. Shanna comes right out and establishes the middle of the cage and eats a left from Molly. Yeah, she ate that left. But I like the aggressiveness. Paradis trying to use that right leg. You could definitely tell the striking difference in the two women already. Young's going to try to get it to the ground if she can power Dupertis. Watch the judo throw. Oh, wow. Dupertis missed with the big right. Young goes up top with the kick and then the right or the left to follow. <laughs> nice. There's a knee from Dupertis. Another one. Ooh, Molly is throwing some knees and they that one hit hard. Yeah, that's a third one. Again, Shanna Young trying to get it on the ground. He's, she's having a tough time. Dupert is showing her strength, and finally she goes down, but not the way she wanted to slam her. Absolutely not. Molly is well put together, and you can tell she is strong, but I'll tell you, Shanna just powered through on that headlock and pulled around and got on top. So Shanna Young has it on the ground. That was the strategy. Former high school wrestler. Skilled in jiu-jitsu as well. But we'll see if Dupertis can live up to her words that she can handle herself on the ground. Absolutely. Shanna's in a pretty good position right now on top of Molly, but Molly gets right up, stands her up, and this is where she wants to be. Well, that shows her strength as well. Dupertis with another good knee. Shanna has to be very careful because she doesn't want to tie herself out. Usually if you get too tired and you're standing up, your hands come down, and that's when a striker takes advantage. That's a great point. And there's a right from Dupertis, kind of a glancing blow, and the two separate each other. Oh, good little lead left right there by Shanna Young. One of the things that Shanna's doing that I don't like is keeping those hands really low. There she brings them up, but when she goes to throw that punch, she drops them. That's going to give Molly that opening that she needs to throw something in there. Molly trying to jab with that left and come back with that right. You saw the uppercut, but it was off the mark. Great combos, just barely missing by Dupertis. Shanna Young gets in there, wants to tussle a little bit standing up. Under a minute to go in the round. This is a great fight so far. I'm very surprised. Both fighters are absolutely athletic. Both are well put together. Great to look at. Some good-looking ladies in there. Great leg kick in the takedown attempt by Shannon or Shanna. That's the problem. She's been trying, and it's very hard to move Dupertis. Molly is strong, absolutely strong. What Molly needs to do here is get a cross face. She's right there with a the cross face. She could rip Shanna right off of her, but she's not doing it. Time winding down in the first round. Shanna Young trying to get it to the ground. We're under 10 seconds to go. Shanna got her right arm loose and was able to strike a couple of times. But this one is headed to a second round in the first ever V3 Women's Bantamweight Division. You're watching V3 Fights. They want a piece of each other. Oh! We hope you're ready, folks. This is a war. What action? What action? Oh, he set it up. He's done. It is over. Knockout. Oh, I don't think he's getting out of this. It's deep. It's deep. He's got it. He's got it. Wow. Oh, my Lord. Oh, no, Dad. This is one bloody war. Fight of the night written all over it. Oh, that is it. Well, an interesting first round. Shanna Young and Molly the Beast Dupertis. Young tried to get Dupertis down three different times. She was successful only once, and it was kind of more like Dupertis just, or she fell on Dupertis, or Dupertis fell on her. So not much action there. Round two, here we go. We'll see if Shanna Young has stamina, because she certainly was exhausted after that first round. Yeah, as she comes out with a nice flurry, hopefully that answers the question. But, yeah, she expended a lot of energy on those three takedown attempts. Dupert is showing those skills with her leg. Oh, Shanna Spinny Young. Spinny back fist. How about that? <laughs> Molly Dupert is great And now hit. the takedown oh. by Shanna Young. Oh. Shanna Young with a headlock right into, well, it's almost mounted up. Well, we were wondering if she had the stamina. It looks like she hasn't so far through Absolutely. the first 30 seconds. Absolutely. She's in Molly's half guard right now, which is still a dominant position for Shanna. She's working her way to try to get a full mount here. And Dupertis certainly would like to get this one back to standing. Molly looks a little bit more concerned 
right now than she did when she was down earlier in the first round. There's a nice knee from Shanna Young. Molly's doing a good job of locking that right leg of Shanna down. Preventing from uh, a full mount. Shanna Young would try to get on top here, but unable to do so. Dupertis right now just fighting to survive. Boy, she's strong, though. Yeah, you can tell the strength of her, but sometimes you, know, you use all that strength and no technique, and you, you kind of waste your energy. There's some strikes from Shanna Young. She got that right arm loose, and again, Kind of away from the camera right here, but you can see the motion. And now she's really free. Full mountain. She's throwing it down on Molly. Molly's almost out. She's slipping through, trying to at least anyway. Shanna Young. Oh, there she goes. She was able to slip through as we approach a minute to go in the second round. Shanna's still inside control, but Molly might be able to sneak out the back door. Nope. Shanna Young 2-0. and oh. Dupertis is 2-1. and one. And more ground and pound from Shanna Young. Oh, great, great move by Molly DePertis. Wow. That was awesome. And again, another strong oh. takedown by Shanna Young. You can see the two <laughs> willing their way, Rick. One wants it on the ground. One, one wants to stand it up. Oh, that was a great reversal and switch back there. That was awesome. You love to see moves like that. Most guys can't do that. No flexibility like that. 30 seconds to go in the second round. Dupertis has been in this position for most of the round. Shanna does not quit. She is absolutely relentless on the top well, position. She answered our question about it. Here's an arm bar attempt, Greg. 15 seconds to go. Shanna's going for a slam. There's oh, a big slam. Nice. She slammed right into it, though. This is absolutely deep. But will the clock be her enemy or her ally? She's out. Shanna's out. Great job by Shanna. And we are going to go to a third and decisive round. You're watching V3 Fights. As I mentioned, some history being made tonight. First ever V3 women's bantam weight division fight. And it is not disappointed. Shanna Young in the solid black trunks. And you're looking at Molly the Beast Dupertis have had a war for two rounds as they get ready for a third and decisive round. Boy, Shanna Young, we wondered if she had the endurance after the first round. She did in the second and round three. Here we go. What do you expect, Rick? Man, I don't know. This is an exciting fight. Both fighters are leaving it out there. Molly looks ex ex exhausted. She caught Absolutely a left. exhausted. She caught a left from the purchase, but again, she's been the aggressor. She's absolutely been the aggressor. And that's very important in the eyes of Kevin Haynes, Tony Martin, and Jay Davis, the three judges. You know, looking at the fighters' faces, you could tell a lot by the expression. Molly looks tired. I think she wasted so much energy trying to get out from that bottom that she's just she's in trouble. And Shanna looks like she's ready to go. Well, Shanna's connected with a couple of combinations here. And again, that's not her strength. Getting it on the ground is. Dupertis is the big-time striker. But Dupertis is spent right now. She's got to be careful right here. She almost slipped into a, a guillotine from Molly. That's the problem. If you're Shanna Young, you want to be, you want to continue to be aggressive, Rick, but you can get yourself so aggressive that you, you walk into trouble. Absolutely, absolutely, Greg. Now, Shanna oh. Young frees her hands again. Molly's in big trouble. She is so tired right now. Holding on for dear life, but again, she's going to have to show something right now because you got to think. And again, we're not scoring this fight. We're just broadcasting it. Shanna Young's got this fight right now. You know, right now it looks like it is her fight to lose. Uh, Molly's tired and just kind of throwing half knees and half punches in there and has got her back against a cage. Shanna's showing all the aggression in the control right now. Oh, another left by Young. Can do Pertis. She's been strong with the knee. Knee's been effective. But again, you can see the exhaustion on her face. And Shanna's pretty tired, too. She's going to try a single leg right here. Let's see if she can lift this up. She gets the one leg up. She needs to pull her out the cage and run the pipe, as they say in wrestling, and take her spinner to the right and take her right down. Oh, she almost did. Well, you can see DePertis trying to strike her, and there was just no pop behind those punches. Nope. None at all. Shanna Young, can she take her down again? That would be maybe the convincer, if you will, with the judges. If you get one more slam... In Absolutely. the eyes of the judges. And you got to wonder how the judges are scoring this third round because 
Shanna's not getting a takedown, but she's showing all the control in the fight. But exactly. Molly's still throwing punches, little as they may be. They're still landing, she's still throwing but them. But Shanna opened up the round with some stronger throws, some stronger punches that connected. Right now it's a stalemate with 30 seconds to go. I'm going to tell you, this is this will be a hard one to judge just because, you know, the, each fan of the others thinks the fighter's winning, but there's not a lot of points being scored here. But Young has been the absolute aggressor. And finally, Jason Wilkerson for inactivity takes him apart, says, let's go. Ten seconds to purchase with a right. Young with a combo that was off the mark. Oh! oh! Wow! Big takedown, final seconds to go in the third round and in the fight. Absolutely sealed the round and the fight for Shanna. Wow. Final 10 seconds. We worried about her stamina. We should have been worried about Dupertis' stamina. <laughs> Shanna Young, impressive. But will the judges see it that way? We will take a break. We'll come back. We'll get the decision. And then Rick will talk to our winner. You're watching V3 Fights. They want a piece of each other. Oh! We hope you're ready, folks. This is a war. What action? What action? Oh, he set it up. He's done. It is over. Knockout. Oh, I don't think he's getting out of this. It's deep. It's deep. He got it. He's got it. Oh, oh my lord. Oh, no, Dad. This is one bloody war. Fight of the night written all over it. Oh, that is it. Welcome back to Marathon Music Works in Nashville. A heck of a fight between Shanna Young and Molly the Beast Dupertis in the first ever B3 Women's Bantamweight Division fight. Let's get the decision with Michael Kelly. B3 Legion, make some noise for these ladies. What a fight. Well, here in the B3 cage at Marathon Music Works, after three wonderful rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the decision. All three judges scoring this one for your winner by unanimous decision, Shanna Young! No surprise there, an exhausted but a jubilant Shanna Young, the winner, and she improves to three and oh, 